Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to show you what's on my iPhone with iOS 16 and I have done no prep or deleting of apps or moving anything around so this is a true view of literally what's on my phone right now. I wanted to be real with it and not try to hide anything or make things look more minimal or cool than they already are but I hope you enjoyed this video of real life what's on my phone and what apps I use every day. I use these apps if not daily than every other day and so I have a hard time deleting them off of my phone but without further ado let's hop right into the phone and see what all I've got here. Today's video is sponsored by Evo Wera and the Plank Mini but more on that in a bit. So for starters I have the iPhone 13 Pro in white here um, or silver I guess it is. Um, I, I switch back and forth between space gray and silver I love white, but I always end up going back to space gray the next year. This year I'm actually not upgrading to iPhone 14, which is a intentional choice I've made, um, which I wrote about it recently in my newsletter, which you can subscribe to down below if you'd be interested in knowing why I made that decision. But the iPhone 13 Pro is a great phone, um, and there was really no need for me to upgrade this year. And let's be honest, the upgrades to iPhone 14 weren't that impressive this year um, so it wasn't that hard of a decision to make now I do have the um, the case on here that's like the the closest to brown the saddle brown but it's actually pretty orange which I'm not a huge fan of but it's the only really brown option they had this year or I guess last year as far as my background goes I just I usually have a picture of my daughter on here but I, I didn't want to put that in, in the video but um, this is one of the wallpapers that I've made that you can pick up on my website spencerscottpew.com there's a few different colors and I've made a few of these over time but this is the blue one that I'm sort of rocking right now and this one's called hills I believe but as you can see I just have um, calendar on there and then the temperature and then my um, fitness and that's just kind of it I, I've been playing around with these kind of lock screens and the different fonts and everything and um, this isn't my favorite font but it, it, anyway it doesn't really matter it's fun to play around with every once in a while but that's just sort of my lock screen layout I'm gonna go ahead and just record my screen here and just kind of walk you through everything so as you unlock the phone I have the black background as you can see it just keeps things minimal and my focus on whichever app I need to get to quickly and I just kind of like the look especially with the OLED display on the phone so I'm gonna walk you through the apps that I have on my one page home screen here and the reasons that I have them on my phone so starting at the top left the Todoist app I don't actually use to do apps that often I usually write in my journal um, my to-do list but if I am ever away from my to-do list and someone gives me something to do, I don't want to forget it. So I'll put it in Todoist and then next time I'm at my journal, I'll make sure to transport it over there. And I just have that there in case, I mean, it's quick to easy to grab. I do a lot of photos. Um, so photos is important. Vero, loving Vero right now. Great community over there, which if you haven't watched Peter McKinnon's video yet, I don't know what you've been doing while you're on YouTube, but go check it out. It explains why Vero is becoming kind of a new place for photographers who are kind of upset with Instagram. So Visco, just in case I want to do some light edits, I kind of bounce around. I had Lightroom for a long time uh, and I recently got rid of it because um, with my new way of shooting and editing photos, I don't really need all of that capability, which I could talk about in a different video if you'd like, but Visco is just a nice, easy place to edit if I want to. Haven't been using it that much lately, actually. I might take it off the home screen. YouTube Studio, I'm able to check how videos are doing, comment back to you guys, stuff like that. I spend loads of time on YouTube, so that's why that's there. Um, Spark is my email uh, app of choice. It's on my Mac and my iPad as well. Great, great email app. I don't know what you'd call it. I love it better than, than anything, Apple's or Google's or anything. Every dollar budgeting app. My wife and I try to use this together and uh, really keep an eye on our finances and I do check it daily so it's good to have there. I use Notion for a long time to do a lot of stuff but I recently, probably a few months ago, went back to just Apple Notes for doing note taking and any sort of written word that I need for projects. So Notes is important. I use it every day. Spotify, music. I used to be a huge Apple fan but um, Apple Music fan. But Spotify just does playlists really well. I think they do it better than Apple, so uh, I'm a Spotify guy. Um, 
Maps. Maps is my number one maps. I don't use Google Maps. I'm sure a lot of you will hate me for that, but that's fine. Audible. Uh, so Audible, like, it's hard. I'll, I'll listen to audiobooks on Audible and Apple Books because sometimes there will be deals and stuff where you can get free books and things like that. So right now it's kind of like Audible is my fiction library, if you will. Like I'm listening to The Lord of the Rings. Um, and then Apple Books is more like business related books and stuff, if that makes sense. Dwell is a really cool app. It's kind of an audible for the Bible, if that makes sense. So there are different reading or listening plans, and then you can pick a, a type of person with a type of voice to read the Bible to you, which has been super cool in the morning on my way back home from dropping Lena off to be able to listen to just scripture being read. Slack is what I use for work, for communication. I'm always talking to people on there, and I'm talking to Javier over at Finish Your Secrets as well on Slack, calendar, Love the calendar app. I don't know what I would do without shared calendars and stuff. So of course that's on my home screen. Instagram, kind of near the bottom because I mean, love hate relationship with Instagram right now, but I don't want to abandon it fully. Procare is what I use to uh, check in and check out my daughter from daycare. It's the, the app that we use for that. Uh, which that brings us to today's sponsor for this video, which is Evo Wera. So many of you probably already know that I have a two-year-old daughter and we are trying to teach her to brush her teeth, which is not going super well. But my friends over at Evo Wera sent me the brand new Plank Mini, which is designed for kids. Uh, a toothbrush that, it's not a vibrating toothbrush, but it does share really cool information to your phone about how your child is brushing their teeth, what areas they need to be brushing maybe better or harder, what kind of pressure they're putting on their teeth, and any sort of ways they can improve their teeth brushing experience and get their teeth better. There's cool screens and things to make it more fun for the kids and it's just great. So big thanks to Eva Wera for sponsoring this video and for sending me this really cool toothbrush. I love my Plank 01 and it's cool that my daughter has one now. Be real, if you're not aware, new social media app, I'm sure you're aware, I won't dive into it. I only have like three friends on there. So if you wanna be my friend, let's do it. Uh, that's just fun. I, I like that little like once a day kind of posting thing. Image Sync is huge for me right now. I've been taking a lot of photos on my Ricoh GR3 and this is the way that I get those photos onto my phone. And that's kind of my preferred method. I used to, you know, with this camera, with every camera in the past, my preferred method was take out the SD card, put it in the computer, put them into Lightroom or wherever. Uh, but this is just, I don't know, again, for another day, but the way that I do it is load them onto my phone. It's been a joy. Uh, my Verizon, that shouldn't be on my home screen. I just recently downloaded it. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to be real with this, so I don't, I don't know why that's on there. Um, I just recently downloaded it again to check how much I owed on my phone and all that stuff. But usually apps like that I wouldn't have on the home screen. So you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and remove it from the home screen. Wow, live editing with you guys. Journey from Moleskin is interesting, something I've been playing around with a little bit. It's kind of a note-taking mood track, not note-taking, but kind of diary-ish, short diary, mood tracking, bigger like day-to-day -day checklist kind of thing. I don't really know how to explain it, but I've been enjoying it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a habit. I guess, I guess it's a habit tracker mostly, which I've been enjoying using, so that's fun. Again, that goes across all my devices as well. So that's, oh, and then of course on the bar on the bottom of all this, I do have um, Safari. I use Safari all the time, you know, trying to look something up. Um, messages, texting is what I do most. And then I always want my camera. I always need my camera on this bottom bar. I change up this bottom bar not often, um, but like recently I had four, I think I might've had the phone on here as well, but I usually, when I'm calling someone, I either just ask Siri to call them or I go into the text that I've been having with them and just hit call that way. I never really go into the phone app unless I'm like in my car using CarPlay or something. And even still, I don't really use that. So I just moved that off of my screen. And that's it for my home screen. That's everything I kind of check in a day. I will just kind of quickly go through my whole app library like I said at the beginning of this video, there's probably a lot more apps on here than you would think I would have, 
but I do, I've recently gone through multiple times my apps and just try to delete things I don't use very often. And I always have a reason to keep them on here, even trying to be very ruthless with it. So Ally is our savings account, App Store, Audible, we've talked about that. Baby Pro is the baby monitor I use for uh, my daughter. Be Real, books, we talked about that. I love the cal calculator app. <laughs> I really do, which is kind of funny. Um, but I use it multiple times a day, especially in my job. There's a lot of like quick math I need to do for like budget shifting and stuff like that. So Call of Duty Mobile is better than I could have ever imagined. Like I always come back to this game and I always delete it off my phone and then re-download it. And so I've just kind of decided to leave it on there. Um, I get really intense with Call of Duty Mobile and I'm really, I'm really good at it too. I'm not trying to brag, but maybe I am. Um, I don't know. I'm really good. I'm not that great at Call of Duty like on an Xbox and stuff, and my roommates in college were, are absolutely amazing on video games, but this one I succeed, uh, excel at, so I'm proud of that. Camera, Canva. Canva I use for thumbnails and things for these videos and other things. CapCut is an interesting um, way, uh, interesting app that I use to make stories. Uh, in reels, so I won't dive into it too much, but it's great for kind of mobile editing like that Chase is who we have our uh, Amazon credit card through which we don't use that often, but We have it get some money back on Amazon purchases clock contacts discord I don't use Discord a ton, but I'm in a few groups that I check every now and then Dreamdale is another super addicting game where you're kind of building up a village or an island and it's I don't know it's you just use your thumb to do everything it's really fun uh, Google Drive I store everything for clients on my Google Drive I have somehow unlimited Google Drive storage through my college school email and I've never been told if that's gonna go away or not so crossing my fingers it doesn't unlimited drive storage which is insane um, the dwell app if aware Exxon mobile love using um, it's super nice when you pull up to an Exxon and you can just pay for the gas on your phone and just, I don't know. I love, I love using the Exxon mobile app. You get points back and stuff like that. FaceTime, feedback, fate or feet electric, uh, smart plugs at my office, files, find my fitness, focus keeper. Um, I usually use this on my iPad, but sometimes I use it on my phone. It's basically a Pomodoro timer, which I love the Pomodoro method. And we can talk about that another day as well. Group me, my church uses it, my community group uses it. And I don't really use it for anything else, but that's how we communicate. Hatch Sleep is the um, the sound machine that my daughter uses to, to sleep with, which is super cool by the way. Health, Health Mate, which some of this stuff is kind of stuff is kind of redundant, but you'll see like my health mate is tied to my scale, which then imports into health. So like I need the app for that to happen. So some stuff like that is kind of Annoying and maybe I need to think a little bit bigger picture when it comes to minimizing Apps and stuff, but I, I gotta keep it hydrate. I do have a hydrate spark water bottle I actually haven't been using it lately I've been using this one that I just grabbed from my wife when I bought her a new one for her birthday But hydrate spark water bottles are pretty cool. Um, I can link that down below if I remember to Image sync imaging edge is the same kind of app but for my sony camera that i'm using right here so i need that to transfer photos uh, on the fly casa is another smart plug app so i use that um, here in the house libby is pretty cool actually if you're not aware of libby uh, really quick it's an app where you put in your local library card and then you can like borrow audiobooks and pdf uh, PDFs, e-publications, like Kindle, all that stuff, you just borrow it digitally like you would at the library. It's, it's pretty neat actually. Like, I would get it and see before you buy your next audiobook, see if it's free at your library. So, Maps Mercari is where I do all of my selling of old tech and gear and stuff. Love Mercari, uh, it's great. Messages Verizon, my Hyundai is my car app where I can remote start my car and check on how it's doing, everything like that. Nest, thermostat. New Bible is a Bible app. Um, probably my favorite, it just looks really nice and clean. Nextiva is my work phone, basically. Notes and Notion. I do still do some things on Notion, but 
I'm thinking more and more I might move away. I don't know, I love Notion, don't get me wrong. It just might be a little more than what I need right now. Phone, photos, podcasts, Realm Connect is another thing that my church is trying to use as like a communication device, but they're like beta testing it, so I don't use it very much. Reminders, I don't use, but my wife does, and she has some shared reminders, so if she ever like makes a grocery list and I wanna go to the grocery store and pick them up, they're all on there, which is super nice to have. Rico recipes um, are recipes for kind of presets, I guess, on the Rico cameras, which is super neat. It's made by one guy. He makes all these recipes. Neat. Ring is our doorbell and security system. Schwab. So we have, we could talk about this another day too, financial wise, but we have a second Schwab account, which is basically our, um, what does uh, he call it? Guilt-free spending account. So we put $600 in there every other week and that's how much we have to spend on food and shopping and once we run out we run out So that's a cool little system that we could talk about at some point, but that's why we have another bank account on here Self-employed is my business app um, Accounting all that. I mean it's QuickBooks basically Services is what I use for church when I'm playing music uh, They put all of the music on there for the week and the sheet music and all that stuff so we can go through that Shark Clean is our vacuum cleaner downstairs, which we love. We've been through a few vacuum cleaners and that one's the best. Shop is my way of tracking packages. It puts everything into one spot, so I don't have to go to FedEx and UPS and USPS and all that stuff. It just goes into shop, which is super cool. Skillshare, I'm thinking, and actually cat's out of the bag a little bit, I guess. I'm, I'm trying to make a course for Skillshare, so I've been kind of perusing Skillshare and seeing how that's all done. And then hopefully maybe one day I'll have a course. I, I, I have, I'm working on it, but I've had to put it on hold. So no promises there, but that could be really cool. Slack, Spark, Spotify, Starbucks, got to get those coffee points. Substack is where I house my newsletter. So it's good to have the reader there. TikTok, I don't use TikTok, but my wife sends me all the TikToks all throughout the day. And then we, right before bed, she's like, watch the TikToks I sent you. So that's why I have it on my phone. Two stories is a really cool um, way of sharing really cool stories with links. That is a terrible sentence, but like if, if I write an article on my newsletter, I can put it through two stories and it'll make this really pretty like story basically that I can put on Instagram or um, Facebook or whatever, which is super neat. To do is truest is our main checking savings account. Um, Again, we can talk about all that later. There is a reason why we have all these bank accounts, but it's kind of this system that I don't really want to get into here. Apple TV, I don't know, it's just on there. Twitter, don't use Twitter a lot. I would love to. I'd love to like communicate more with like you all over there, but no one's ever really followed me over there and I've never really made a big push for that either. There's Vero, love it. Voice memos, I'm a musician. It's great to have that just to record quick samples of stuff I come up with. Wallet, watch, weather, Wells Fargo is my uh, business banking. YouTube, YouTube Studio, 500 pics, or pixels. I thought about maybe putting a gallery on there and I did, but I think I might delete it because I don't, know, I don't really like it that much. That's literally everything on my phone. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I do have other videos on this channel related to minimalism and intentionalism, intentional living, uh, as well as gear tech, photography, I'm into all sorts of stuff. So I appreciate you and your time here. And if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, like this video, and watch this one right here if you wanna see more. Thank you guys, I'll see you next time.